Morning everybody, Mark Crossfield here out on the golf course and I'm going to share with you today some golf basics for golfers who are maybe new to the game and looking of trying to get round in as less stress as possible. So these will be tips and ideas that I've used with my eldest daughter who even though she's been playing now a few years I would still class her as a pretty new golfer because we don't play very much and when we do it's purely for fun. So some of the rules that we play to, so like how to get around, I don't mean swing and those kind of things, more the ideas of how to just get around, fit in with other golfers who might be moving at different paces so you feel more comfortable out there. If you're a new golfer, down in the comments down below, let me know, do you feel a bit anxious when you're on the golf course? Like you might be holding people up, are you doing things right? You know, there's so many of those kind of laminated signs on golf courses sometimes. It just makes you feel like the course is constantly telling you off and the game is difficult. Let me know down there if you feel uncomfortable or not. If you do, hopefully this video will give you some kind of basic outliers on how to get out there, feel more comfortable, have fun. Because at the end of the day, this is your leisure time. This is your fun time. So let's start here on the teeing ground. You can see we've got three sets of tees at the course I'm at. We've got the whites, we have the yellows, and we have the red tee boxes. Now, unfortunately in the UK, the reds are known as women's tees, the yellows may be general play, and then the whites is a mixture of general play and competition play. Now, which tee should you play off? Here's some guidelines for you based on how far maybe you hit the ball, those kind of ideas. These guidelines will give you a good starting point, but to be fair, not playing in competitions, and all today's talking will be about casual, friendly, just getting around golf. If you're playing in competitions, you're gonna need to look at the rules of the competitions and abide to them. But for casual, recreational golf, do not gender these tees. It's pointless. I play with my eldest daughter, and she goes off a mixture of the reds, the yellows, and the whites, subject to the length of the hole, subject to how far she hits the ball, subject to what fun we wanna have. General rule of thumb is the closer to the hole you get, it's gonna be easier which could make it more fun. And the further back you go, it's gonna be harder, which might be more fun for some and might be not less fun for others. Don't gender base them, base it a little bit more as a rule of thumb as how far you hit the ball. And don't be afraid to change on different uh, holes. Like, we, you know, like I said, with my daughter, we play some from the whites, which is the back. We play some from the reds. We don't very often play from the yellows, but some of the yellows and the reds are in the same place. Get off the tees that are more appropriate for you to have the most fun and get around. That would be a killer bit of advice for even accomplished golfers now. Play with people who make you feel comfortable. So what I mean by that, play with people who have the same sense of humour as you. Play with people who have the same goals of you. Sometimes challenge yourself and play with people who have different goals to review because that's what might be what you like you know you want to play with someone who's a better player and learn but what's going to give you the most enjoyment is if you are using it as a social activity as well as a sporting and exercise activity finding a group of players a network of friends that allow you to enjoy it more will only increase your levels of enjoyment. If you're on the course nervous that you're upsetting someone and because you're standing on their line and all the other many golfing rules that are out there, then maybe play with a different group of people who are there more for the chats and the fun. I mean, that's something I've done in my life growing up and I'm lucky enough because of this channel and the things I've done that I can play with mates and we enjoy having fun and playing some pretty below average golf but it's the fun of being with them and the laughs and recording some of the crazy shots is where we get our enjoyment it's such a key for the long-term enjoyment of your golf because golf can be a struggle and it's a tough game sometimes have enough golf balls in your bag like have enough this is something i used to do with my eldest all the time make sure she had plenty of golf balls we all lose golf balls on the course when you're newer to golf you probably lose a few more not having enough golf balls is going to make you pretty anxious make sure each time you go out you just got plenty of golf balls you'll be amazed at the amount of beginner golfers i've worked with that you get out on the course they got like four golf balls that could last two holes if we're not careful. 
If you want to get out there, be comfortable. Just make sure you've got enough golf balls in your bag. And then the other funny thing, and they often, new golfers often forget this, and to be fair, accomplished golfers sometimes forget this. When you pull a new ball out of your golf bag, so mine's a Strix of one here, make sure you know what it is, because you'll get in situations where you walk up to your ball and there'll be two Strixons, both yellow. Well, that's a three, and mine's the one. I'll play that one. Have enough golf balls. Also know what golf ball is yours, so you don't go and upset some of the angry golfers that are on the golf course. How to deal with the knobble, tee shot, the lost ball, those kind of ideas. So let's just pretend I hit one here and I hit this like awful toe, whoa, and it shoots off there and it's all fun and giggles. I mean, I'm not gonna play that ball if I'm just having fun. I mean, it's just over here. I'm moving with the pace of play, so I'm literally just gonna go and pick that ball up. I'm gonna re-tee it up and have another go. For where it ended up, I'm only gonna be able to chip it 20 yards forwards, which might not reach the fairway and chip it on again. That's no faster than me just walking 10 yards off to the right, picking it up, putting it back on the tee where I might advance it 200 yards or 100 yards, depending on how far you hit it. Don't be afraid just to go over and pick funny, novel ones up. Lots of people think, oh, they're playing another one, they're going to be slower or they're walking. No, you're probably going to be quicker. Now, another way of dealing with these situations, because again, you're going to hit funny shots. So I hit my tee shot, it looks all right, but is it gonna reach those trees? Is it gonna stop? Oh, I'm not sure if I saw that down. So I've got a few options now. The rules of golf, I don't know if it's in play. I'm gonna put another one down here on the tee and hit another shot. But it's a really busy day, let's pretend. Yeah, there's people already pressuring the tee because we're all bunching up because it's busy. I'm nervous because I've just hit one that they've seen in the rubbish and I'm if I hit another one in the rubbish or do my novel one, I'm gonna be embarrassed. So I might just move on, put one down when I get up there. If it's quite empty and I think, oh, I might wanna just play that one again to see if I hit the wrong club, those kind of things, if there's room, do that. Try and read the situation and work out what is the quickest way of getting around and still having fun. There'll be times when you can replay, but do not be afraid to just put one down. When you get up here and you can't find it, just put one down. Put one in here, I don't mean put one down here and then chip out. I mean, you can do that if you want, but you're putting one down, so it's not really the rules of golf. You might as well just put one down in play. What we do is I say to my eldest, just put one down in play. This is about where your good drive will turn and end up where you wanna go. I mean, it's not in this situation, but let's pretend it is. And then play a shot, move on, have fun, practice. Get the most even from the bad shots. Play at times that suits, hopefully, your lifestyle, but as well, the kind of atmosphere at the course. You'll find there is different atmospheres, maybe at different venues from different times of the day. So I come out and film here. In the morning, you can see the greenkeeper here. We have a greenkeeper here working on the course, and I have an arrangement with them. We kind of work together. I get out of their way, and they get out of mine, and we just get around before all the golfers are out there, because I'm filming, I'm stopping, I'm starting. I don't want to get in the way of all the golfers who are paying and having fun. Now, there are times on a golf course definitely that are quieter, other times that are busier. There'll be competition-based times where people are out there competing and they don't want to be held up or it has to flow in a certain way. So find the times that suit you and your playing partners best. That allows you to get out there and just be relaxed. You'll be amazed sometimes I see beginner golfers going out there and in times I just think, oh, why are you playing now? You've got some of the angriest golfers in the world on the course. Like if you'd have come an hour later, it's so much more relaxed. And the best person to ask that is often the pro in the pro shop or the secretary manager, whoever it is, will know the different times. And they'll say, look, you know, this is, these are the most relaxed times to come and play. Look out for those times. It'll just make it so much more fun. Be prepared is the next one. Have tees in your pocket that will allow you to play different shots. So my driver tee and that one can go in lower if I want to tee an iron up lower. Have a pitchfork repairer. This will allow you to repair the green when your ball lands on the green. If your ball doesn't land on the green, you can repair other pitch marks. There's lots of fancy ones. I like that one though. And have a ball marker in your pocket as well. You put this behind the ball when you're marking it on the green so it gets out the way again. It speeds up play it and make you feel comfortable that you're not in the way. Be prepared with the goods you need in your pocket to make sure that you can get around the course and not be fisting around in your bag looking for things that you need to play. And remember that stuff needs to be in your pocket or on your person ready to go, not back in your bag that you've left like up there that you're hitting over. Just, just be ready for what's going to happen.
don't spend too long looking for balls. Have you really come out to spend hours, minutes looking for golf balls? If a golf ball means that much to you, buy cheaper ones. And I play with my eldest, we're out there to play golf. I'm not there looking for a ball and I don't want her wasting time looking forever to look for a ball. If you're in the trouble, again, you used to just drop it out rule. Just put one out and play again. Let's play, let's play golf. Again, if the golf ball means that much to you, please, please, please just buy much cheaper ones. You're gonna lose them. You need to work it into your budget. You need to work it into your game plan. Looking for golf balls is demoralizing. It's boring. And it certainly can really start slowing things up. If you're someone who's having to look for your golf balls a lot, let them go, put one down, move on. Let's all have fun. Don't be afraid to take a few things on. I do see beginner golfers being very, very timid. And I get it because you're gonna hit bad shots. You might have lost balls and you're kind of just a bit fed up of it in the trouble. But sometimes taking things on is actually a lot of fun, regardless if they come off or not. So one thing I did with my eldest very early on, if I knew she can make it, even if it's a bit of an, uh, you know, she has to hit a top end better shot. But if I know she's got the distance to be able to get over the corner here, whatever it is, I would ask her to take it on because I want her to experience that end. The laying upside I know she can do, she can hit a uh, seven iron out to the left here because we've hit plenty of seven irons. And subject to the situation, if we were actually keeping score or in competitions, that might be a choice. But when we're practicing and when we're having fun and playing recreational golf, I want her to know if she can take things on. And it's good fun. It's like playing tennis and trying to hit a passing shot. Maybe having a dig at a, at a shot in football from outside the box. Like, you don't always have to just be super, super sensible. You are out here for a laugh. When it comes to taking things on, we go for it. We have a bit of fun. Can I get over the corner here and make this 260 yard second shot for me? Obviously, it's relative to what you're playing. If it doesn't come off, so I've topped that one, thinned it low. We giggle and have a bit of fun. We know she can pull it off. I know I can hit that shot and we just hit a funny one. It doesn't stop me trying to have fun while I'm out there and taking things on. Certainly when you're practicing, it'll help you learn what your kind of outliers are on the top end. So in certain situations, what can you take on and is it sensible to do it? Rather than always just kind of dumping it forwards, it can get a little bit boring. Mm. Now don't worry if you can't do something. If you're one of those people, get out, that gets in say a bunker, and you'll be amazed that even the accomplished golfers that hate getting in these kind of places in bunkers, don't just spend 20 shots in there. Just pull it out, pull it out and play a chip shot. You don't need to practice these on the course unless it's the only place you can practice and there's no one around, you've got plenty of time, maybe have a few goes. But don't spend all day in there just removing the sand. It's no fun, it's demoralizing. Pull it out, hit a chip shot, work on that skill. Then maybe go to the practice bunker and spend some time. Go and pick, book a lesson with a pro. It'll teach you how to get out. They're not as hard as people make them, but people don't practice them or get any lessons on them. They get in these situations and it kind of kills the soul a little bit. Don't be afraid if you just can't get out of them. This applies for any situation. Just pick the ball up, put it out on the grass, chip it forwards. Before I leave this area, just make sure you give the bunker a good rake. Then the last tip for you, if you're out there trying to enjoy your golf more and you're newish to playing or you're refining golf, Find what it is putting the ball down, playing with mates, not playing with mates, competing. Find it, the thing that's really giving you that enjoyment, and then just repeat it. Just keep repeating it, going out there and having fun. Biggest thing that I see golfers doing is I do see golfers falling out of the game a little bit sometimes, because they're not clear on some of these objectives, and it kind of just gets them down and they fall out of the game. Find it is what you enjoy from golf and repeat. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below what you do to have more fun on the course. Maybe let me know down there. This isn't like a cast iron. You have to do these things. These are just some ideas that I've done to try and make golfers enjoyable for the new golfers I've worked with and also family members. Um, if you've got some little games and tricks that you play that really make you enjoy it, share them down below. Let's all share and find out what it is that's making us really enjoy this fantastic game. Thanks for watching.